Yes, noise cancelling for the P1P and the P1S from Bamboo Labs finally came in their firmware. Is it really less loud? Is it more silent? Well, currently running the new firmware, so you can already decide like, hey, is it really worth the upgrade? Or shall I wait to you a little bit later stage? Let's find it out together right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Yes, I'm talking about the latest firmware update that Bamboo Labs released yesterday. The version 1.05. One of the features is noise cancelling. It's the very first thing that says in the release notes. But also, you can now remotely view the SD card sitting in your P1P or P1S. Especially handy if you want to download the time-lapse videos that I was also planning to do but I couldn't get them. Now you can actually get them remotely or using Bamboo Studio or using the Bamboo Handy app. The Bamboo Handy app is getting even more handy. How handy is that? right there are also some other things the release notes i'll just show you right here so that you can see which kind of features this firmware actually provides you for your p1p or your p1s i'm still waiting on the live stream functionality coming to the p1p and the p1s because hey the x1 and the x1c does have it but not this tree printer there is a camera in there why wouldn't you have something like that i know there is something like it said like the camera on these machines are a little bit lesser quality 720p does it matter i want to live stream with my audience every friday what i'm printing if i'm printing on the bamboo labs printer so why not doing that this is the printer block from 3d print professor he makes printer blocks it is amazing this is scaled to 200% it's bigger than normal it is functional as well connect a piece in in between it and you can stack them however you want it's like Legos that you can 3d print but then I think also very nice the first thing that I want to show is the standard setting that I did use on the Bamboo Studio. Which kind of slicer settings that I use and also sending it then afterwards to the printer. So the update is now done and I'm going to print the printer block one more time again. I don't change anything whatsoever, just playing the file that was already on the printer and let's see how much difference there is. This is the second cube that I printed with the new update. While waiting on it, I didn't notice any sound difference, no noise cancelling. Shall we do a calibration like you normally would do in a setup and let's print one cube again and let's see if there is any sound difference. The, uh, <clears throat> the whole calibration will take 30 minutes. 26 minutes i'm not going to record the whole process let's uh, proceed and let's see what is going to happen now the auto calibration is fully done let's start for the third time the same cube and let's see if the noise is less than the previous two times
So the shot that you are going to see is without it having the new firmware installed. Let's, uh, let's check how the decibels are going to be and how loud it is on the microphone from the camera. Let's uh, check it out. So that was pretty loud and that is a sound that I'm very used to with having a lot of 3D printers standing in my studio right here. This is the footage with the firmware installed. So after two times printing, I am going to do the calibration before going to print it for a third time and see if there is a difference between the second and the third time of printing. Let's do that and see for yourself and listen for yourself how much of a difference that is. Well, did you notice any difference? Are the decibels from footage 1, 2 and 3 equal or very similar? Well, I did notice that as well. And I don't hear any difference about the noise cancellation functionality in the firmware. It's still a nice cube, very fast printed, but the noise is still there. The decibels are still being between the 65 and the 100 decibels while printing. It doesn't matter for the first without, the second with the firmware update and the third attempt with firmware update and the calibration. I didn't notice any difference in sound. Noise cancelling? I'm not really sure about that. Should you do the firmware update because of that is a decision that you have to make. On my B1S I still hear the movement. The printer standing right behind me, I hear the sound very well. But further, for the SD card, remote access using Bamboo Studio or Bamboo Handy App, that one, that feature is very nice. And there are some other things that you can check out on the firmware release notes if it is needed also for you to upgrade to this new firmware, the version 1.05. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about the new firmware? Are you going to install it? Yes or no? Are you curious what is going to happen within the coming five years of consumer-based 3D printers? Well, check the video out right here because I'm going to make some predictions what we can expect as consumers for 3D printing within the coming five years.